Hi guys, uh, welcome to today's session. Uh, today our topic is uh, how to update the records in Salesforce. Okay. Uh, before we already seen uh, about how we need to uh, create the records and how we need to uh, get the record from Salesforce. Okay. So today we will see how we need to update the records in Salesforce. So before that, please subscribe our videos and uh, if you like, please like. Okay. Uh, if, uh, I'm giving one fan uh, on HTTP listener. Okay. Uh, I'll give the path as update. So first, I will take one uh, query uh, from Salesforce. Okay. In this query, I'm going to give uh, what are the records uh, I want, uh, what are the fields I want to take by using that uh, field name. Okay. So here, if you are seeing uh, in my Salesforce, uh, I'm having these are the records what I'm having. So in that, I'm taking one record as a Sai. So I'm going to change the name of that uh, uh, Sai as a, some another name like Sarat or something. Okay. So for that, I'm taking that uh, I'm retrieving the data from uh, Salesforce first. Uh, for that, I'm using Salesforce query. Select ID and name from. account where name equal to name so this name I am passing from parameters name attributes dot query params dot name okay guys so before that uh, i am setting one variable okay i am putting one name update name uh, this name i'm take i'm taking from payload payload dot update name okay so after that I am taking one I'm taking from one transform message. So from query we will get the data as an uh, array, array list, okay. So for that I'm using payload map uh, item comma index Uh, ID I will take from payload uh, payload minus item dot ID okay and uh, name I am already uh, I saved in uh, one variable that variable so I'm calling that where dot update name okay uh, a string uh, again uh, I'm going to update this record uh, update in Salesforce update so here is something to showing uh, name a string okay. uh, an update I'm going to give accounts Okay, that's it. So I'm line printing payload for the time putting on transfer methods. Okay, just I will give payload JSON. Okay. I'm going to run now. So if you want to uh, know how the configuration of Salesforce everything I already uh, done in uh, previous videos okay just go through there and uh, check it out i will provide the link in description also okay just save this uh, and 
run it. Meanwhile, uh, we will set the path from Postman. Okay, already set some, somewhat. Uh, so here, what we are going to update uh, in uh, site. Okay. So by using site, I'm fetching the record. Okay, and I will update the name as a some summa. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, our application is successfully deployed. Uh, I'll hit from Postman and sending. Okay. So, before uh, our thing is uh, name will be a side, so it has to change with uh, Suman. Okay. We will check it whether updating or not. Something we got there are unknown description. Why we got this check here. Uh, from query we got the other let me check id name Sorry, to give params. Okay, params. Some mistake, I think. Save it. And then try to send. I think it's not saved, I think. Okay, save it. Some issue with my Inafon Studio. Let me stop running.
Okay, guys. Uh, our application is actually deployed. Uh, we'll check now. Uh, okay, we got the uh, success proof. Okay, let us check. Uh, so before it was I right. Uh, now I'm refreshing my Salesforce account. Let's check it there. Okay, see here uh, we change uh, from Sai to Suman. Okay, again I'm going to update. Uh, again I'm giving Suman to Sai. Okay, otherwise Sarat I will give. Okay. Okay, we got again success too. So here what we are having before Suman we are having now it has to replace with Sarat. Okay, just I'm again refreshing. See now it uh, changed to Sarat. So, so now you got the player idea, right? Uh, so this is how we need to uh, update the records in Salesforce. Okay, guys. Thank you.